on the show kabir talks to a dog somya becomes a ninja kabir gets slapped somya finds out about another somya let's go let's go You're glued on to how to and we have a very very important question to ask you today. Do you know what Sunny Day looks like when he's dancing? I bet you're picturing it right now in your head. More importantly, do you know what geofencing is? Those of you who do, very good. Those of you who don't, we send Kabir out on the streets to find out from the janta what geofencing really is. He asked that question along with some silly ones. Let's take a look. Hey guys, what's up? Can I ask you a few questions if you don't mind? Are come here. Hi. No. No. Hello. Hi. Are you there? What's your name? People just run away, dude. Hi, I'm I'm here. Um Where is your fencing? I have no idea. Hey, what's up guys? What's your name, man? My name is Tushar. Tushar. What's yeah. your name? Samya. Samya. <laughs> what's your name? Karthik. What's your name? I'm Kabir. <coughs> Um hi I'm Kabir as well so yeah <laughs> What is geofencing? What? Pardon? Uh geofencing. Oh uh, no clue. What what? Geo fencing? Do you know what is geofencing? No. Nope. But acha guess guess kariye kya ho sakta hai ye. Yoga kya hai sakta hai ki hi type ki kya hai sakta hai. All right so we have a gentleman with us who's trying to tell us that geofencing is yoga probably. Kya aapko malum hai geofencing kya hai? Hi what's up what's your name what's your name what's your name i have some lovely ladies around so zoya and your name is somya 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 is my co-host oh. i hate her well i love me somya uh what is your fencing what is my Hey, what is your number? I'll take your number later. I'm saying, what is geofencing? What is geofencing? Ah, so geofencing is this uh, concept where uh, there is an area around your store where if you uh, enter that area, you will get uh, an SMS or you will get like a message from the store. That is what geofencing is. I have tears yeah, in my eyes. Push notification. <laughs> Somebody knows it. Oh my God. Welcome back Kabir we yeah. sent you out to do some work on yeah. the streets what did you do did you do any work i was chatting with some really lovely ladies and uh, i asked people what is geofencing really they have no clue what is geofencing so basically no one knew what was geofencing no. and i just saw from the footage somebody said that yoga and geofencing yes according to him some kind of yoga geofencing and yoga geofencing and yoga yeah how does that work did you ask him what it was no i didn't but again there was this lady who knew what is oh i heard about that when the producers were telling me so yeah who was that one lady who knew the right answer what somya one person who knew okay happens to be somya Whatever. really ever hence proof somyas of the world are the smartest that's generalizing don't don't generalize okay let's go on with the story basically before we get into how to geofence people need to know what, what is, is geofencing geofence let's explain it to them in the simplest them. way possible simplest way possible geofence is a concept that combines the technology of global positioning satellite aka gps with your handheld devices to create a virtual fence on a real geographic location it uses the user's longitude and latitude to locate so for say this is your real geographical location so say this is you Okay, the sauce bottle. That's not me, sir. Yeah, it is you. It is you. You are here. Okay. I'm there. Yeah, and I am creating a virtual fence around you, like so, over here. Okay. This is it. This is your area. Once you leave the fence, tick, 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 tick. Wait. It's not gonna be what? tick, 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 tick. Yes. I don't walk like that. It has to be dark, 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 dark. Really manly. Okay, whatever. So now you walked out from here. Now what's going to happen is that my phone or my email is going to get a text message alert or I'm going to get an email whatever I opt in for and I'm going to know that you have left that location. Sneaky you. Ah, now you know how I know that you are late exactly. to work. You can do so much. Okay, let's okay. talk about the conventional uses of okay. geofencing. So okay. let's say for example you can geofence your kids. Your child's routine is home to school and school to home. Set up a geofence around that area. If he or she leaves the fenced area, you'll get a notification on your phone. That's one okay. conventional use. Second is elderly care. 
Grandparents tend to have a set routine. Set the geofence around the usual travel area. In case something worrisome does happen, you will get an instant text. Your own devices like your oh. iPad or your phone or your car yes. or your... My favorite yeah. news. Yeah. You can actually geofence your yeah. car when you're yeah. parking it in a mall. Set a geofence for your car. If your car's got GPS and you've got a phone, set a parameter for your car. That way you can always find it in a parking lot or know if it's stolen or speeding. Throwing a surprise birthday party. Let's okay. say you are throwing a surprise birthday party for me okay. and you are at my Long house, shot, but okay. Somya, <laughs> and you are at my house okay. and you want to keep a track whenever I'm in the building. Yeah. Right? So basically, so, just get so that basically, as soon as you're entering the parameter, I'm going to text you, and everybody can be in their location exactly. and say surprise, and, and they can go no, and not then like give this. you a heart attack. They can go like surprise. What I have in my hand is an yes. Oppo mobile phone. It's got an inbuilt geofence device. What I have in my hand is the remote of this phone, and it's connected via Bluetooth, and it's got a predefined fence of five meters. Five meters, which we are going to show you which we are going how to it works. I put the little device connected via Bluetooth to the phone on my keychain. I'm going to move out and we're going to test something. So let's wait for this thing to make some sound. I left the area and moved out of the preset 5 meter fence. The little device started to beep instantly. It started, it's starting to beep. I double clicked it and the phone rang instantly telling me where it was. When you double click it, if your mobile is lost in your house, you yeah. can find it and it's yeah. the other way around also. Let's say if you've uh, forgotten Lost this particular device, remote, yeah. you can... Cute sound. And you have the phone. Me. Buying this phone just to geofence, I think that's a bit expensive way of going about exactly. geofencing. There are much cheaper ways. If you already own a smartphone, there are apps in various stores that you can buy or it's for free as well. And once you install those apps, you can geofence quite easily. So let's get to the apps. Yeah. One is a geofencer which you can get on uh, Google Android. Play. Google yeah. Play. Uh, one There's is located by Mac My, my India. India. Yeah, there Find is. My yeah, Friends find on me. iOS Need app. Yep. And uh, you were talking about this Live 360. Live 360. 360. Family GPS tracker. Both parties need to have the same app. Once the app has been downloaded, send a request to follow a friend and vice versa. Set a fence to know when the friend is leaving or arriving at a certain location. Okay, so we talked about applications, we talked about devices, how you can go about geofencing. Yep. But now we're going to talk about the future of geofencing. This is how it happens. Let's say you frequent a particular coffee shop. That coffee shop, in conjunction with a mobile carrier and a specialized agency, has geofenced itself. Once you've entered the geofence, you get notifications from the coffee shop informing you of a special offer and so on. It increases foot traffic for the coffee shop and you get discounts. It's a win-win. You know, this is pretty huge in the West. They have adopted this on a large scale over there. It is the future of geofencing is going to come to but India very soon. But get ready for that in India very soon. Very soon. Ama, no mad, click on browse, browse. Why would you click on start? I I'm don't not, know I'm why he thinks you. that the best time to take a call is during our show. How is that related to my shadi? Why are you doing shadi? What are you saying, man? Arey, click on start. Click. You hung up on my mom. Are you serious? Don't state the obvious. That conversation was not going anywhere, Kabir. Somehow you hung up on my mom. Kabir, we are going to teach your mom how to share files that don't fit in a mail. Mom, if you are listening and watching, it was not me, it was her. Auntie, say thank you to me. It was her. Say thank you. You hung up on my mom. How to transfer files that are big so there are some conventional methods. What are they, Kabir? The first one is to compress a file. Use a WinZip or a WinRAR, install it on your computer. Yeah, yeah. They are softwares. Yeah, they are softwares, of course. What else you will install on the go? Next conventional method. Uh, use vTransfer. 2 GB of files for free. Uh, it's very easy, actually. Just uh, go to the file, choose that, mm -hmm. send it. Uh, the vTransfer website will send a link to your friend's friend. email ID. From where and your from friend there, can download exactly. it? Exactly. Okay. But when uh, but we transfer will cost after a while. Yeah, after two GB. Okay. The third method. Google Drive. If you have a Gmail account or if you have a Google ID, just log in. It's very easy. Send the Upl file. Yeah. Very easy. Upload upload your files in Google Drive and then your friend can download it from there. Exactly. The last one, which is actually my favorite one, exactly. because of two reasons. Two reasons. Yes. First, what is it called? It's called. Torrents, yes! Okay, and my two reasons why I like this is because there is no limit A yeah. and B, it's free, at least for now and 
maybe I forever think, probably yeah, forever probably and why do we like it Tell because me. a you can look really intelligent when you use a torrent uh, but let me explain you how we use a torrent right <laughs> like uh, both of you need to have torrent like let's say me and somya we're transferring files to each other yeah. so she needs to have a torrent uh, yeah. installed on her yeah. computer i need to install it on my computer for pc use bu torrent yes. for mac use transmission. transmission and yes it's very easy what you do is you uh, go to the particular file yep. open up the torrent tracker go to the particular file yep. choose it choose what choose new torrent no create a new torrent okay. yes that's create what you need create a new to. torrent and basically a torrent is nothing but a small file right okay. the, the, the file i mean the big file is not there it's more of a pass it's like a pass to a concept, concept yeah. so that uh, pass that i have made i need to give it to somya yep and if i give and that I'm pass gonna, to somya and i'm going to become school by going to that concept but we talk about the file so that that little thing that pass that you're going to send me i just have to download it from there and i'm done it's and as simple and use it in your bit torrent tracker yes and use it in my bit torrent tracker that simple yes that easy yes kabir why are you so hyper thanks to the coffee before the show while i calm down kabir we will see you in a bit after the break hopefully he'll be much calmer there is no karan on the show but coffee was there after the break Amen.